Good morning, guys. I wanted to show you how to upload your artwork to Artsonia using your Chromebook. Um, if you have a tablet or an iPhone or a portable device, you can use the Artsonia app. Otherwise, you would want to use your Chromebook. So I will leave a link in the Google Classroom page for both the app link and to access the Google Class or Artsonia page through your Chromebook. So you want to go to artsonia.com forward slash class, and you will re get to a screen that looks like this. So you're going to log in by starting by typing your name. And then when you find your name, click on it, and make sure when you get in, it is indeed yours. What we're going to do next is to add new artwork. And you want to find the correct project, whatever it is that you are doing now in this page or alphabetical. So you're going to have to find the correct project. Now I'm going to add another version of the Winter Cardinal, because that's the artwork I have in front of me. So I'm going to click on that. Select Image. Now we don't have anything photographed right now, so we're going to have to add that to our Chromebook. So we're going to use the Camera app. So to find your camera, click on the lower left-hand corner or your Launcher button, wherever that might be on your screen. Uh, you want to find your camera, so you can just start typing it. It will pop up. That opens up my camera. So what you do next is to hold up your picture. Now it's a little bit awkward, so you have to kind of hold it up. Hit the space bar or the white button. It should show up. Now if I click on the lower right-hand corner, that's going to open up my editing software. Now you can see I probably could re-photograph that because I am cutting off a little bit more than I would like. You can always crop off your photo, but you can't add missing pictures to it. But for demonstration's sake, we're just going to use this one. So I'm going to edit this photo. So I'm going to hit the pencil button, use the crop tool, and you can position your crop rectangle. You don't want your fingers or anything like that in the picture. That looks good. You can hit done. Now if you look in the upper left hand corner, there's a lot of numbers. That's the current file name. So you might want to give it a better name that you can more easily recognize. So I'm just going to type cardinal. I'm going to hit exit when it looks good. All right, now we can go back into our Sonya. It's a noisy truck driving down my street. Now you can see we have Cardinal. I'll double click on that. You can see it's selected. We're going to hit Upload. Now again, here you can do your editing in Artsonia as well. Your rotating or whatever you need to do. If you have your last name on there, please blur it out. And let's go hit Accept. Uh, give it an art title, and I'll submit, and give it a statement. Remember, a statement should tell what you like about it, what you didn't like, anything you want to say about your work. Really like how the sky turned out. It was fun to use the watercolor and splatter paint. And a good thing to spell check. I'm going to submit. All right, then when you're all done, you could log out if other people use your Chromebook, or you can always just keep yourself logged in so it's a little easier for you to get in. So that is a real quick way for you to upload your artwork to Artsonia using the Chromebook. Um, ideally, like you want to use the app, but if you don't have access to a mobile device, you can use your Chromebook. If you have any questions, you can leave me a comment on the Google Classroom page. Thank you.